Great session today, Brian. Um, you're really making great improvements in all the areas that we've been focusing on. You know, you met all your goals that we set for you when you initially came in, and I think you're just about ready to be discharged. Great. So I'd like to take the last couple of minutes of today's session to try and uh, make sure we carry over the results that we made in physical therapy into your daily schedule. Perfect. Okay, this will help keep your body strong and resilient outside of the clinic, so that hopefully your previous recurring bouts of back pain do not return. Okay, so before we do this, I'd like to re-explore why you sought out physical therapy in the first place. Okay, does this sound okay to you? Yeah, it does. You know, the, you know, ever since the new year, I've been trying to get back into, you know, being more active and mm -hmm. um, playing basketball and all that stuff. But I've been, seems like I'm hitting the wall quite a bit. Okay, um, having a lot of obstacles and having some trouble getting through it. Okay, well, tell me more about the kinds of things that you were doing and why you seem to be hitting these road bumps along the way. So as you as you know, my buddies have been playing, you know, basketball pickup, and I've been trying to do, trying to do that, and um, that's caused me some back pain in the past, and it's been a struggle for me to do that. So I went to the doctor, and the doctor gave me some some pain medication, and the pain medication worked for for a while, but it seemed like it didn't really take care of it. So then I started, I try, I try to try to do basketball again, but then I had more pain from that. So. And really stuck with with going back to basketball because of the pain. Well, it sounds like you you really struggled to back, get back into a more active lifestyle and understand how difficult it is to overcome these roadblocks and then start all over again. So tell me how everything else is going. Are you eating well? Sleeping well? Are there any other stressors in your life? Well, I I have been trying to eat better, but it's been quite difficult to you know maintain for a pro, for a long period of time. Work is getting busier and I'm getting closer to about six hours a night, but sleeping definitely isn't the, the best for me. Um, you know, I feel much better when I'm exercising, but when this back pain comes on, everything just seems to fall apart um, and definitely makes me less active. But you did have some success and you felt much better when you initially tried to become more active. Yeah, I did. I, de I definitely felt a lot better. I felt like I was like turning a new chapter in my life, and I liked the fact that I was being more pro proactive about my health. Okay, well, it, it sounds like you realized that when you started to change these aspects of your life, you felt much better, and that it was going to affect your overall health. But this recurring back pain that you experienced was stopping you in your tracks. So tell me, why do you think that you were experiencing these recurring bouts of back pain in the first place? I don't think I was in the proper physical shape to be playing basketball you know, with my friends, you know. I sit at a desk for about eight hours a day and I go from there to playing basketball. The rest and the medications did have some positive effects initially, but it seemed like they were not helping overall as the pain came right back. I think, I think you're right, you know, pain does not necessarily mean that there's a physical problem. It sometimes just means that the brain is perceiving a threat mm. and that something needs to change. There are many other things that play into why pain comes about. For example, how much stress you're under, your proactivity level, Makes how much sense. sleep you're getting, your emotional health, they all play a big role as well. You know, if one aspect of your lifestyle is not deemed healthy, then it can certainly make you more sensitive to experiencing pain. I think you touched on an important point earlier when you said that you didn't feel physically ready to jump back into playing pickup basketball with your friends after sitting for long periods of time throughout the day. Does this make sense to you? Yes, I definitely think so. I mean, working eight hours a day and going to play basketball, um, my body was definitely not ready for that. Definitely, you know, because many factors influence pain, we have a lot of options on how to decrease pain and make sure that it doesn't return. Now, you're doing very well about being proactive, about getting back into a more active lifestyle. But I think that the physical capability of your body just wasn't there yet to jump into playing basketball with your friends at that intensity. And I, and I think that was a big reason um, on why you experienced back pain in the first place and also why it's been recurring. And what's your impression on that? Well, I definitely understand that. You know, I really haven't exercised in a couple of years and because everything's been pretty crazy at home. Very hectic, lots of hours at home, um, doing work, um, the kids have been busy. Um, things that in the job is very busy, just hectic. Um, I thought playing basketball would be great for me, and I think it is, but I definitely wasn't ready to step right back in, and I didn't realize my body needed more more uh, preparedness to get yeah. into that um, program. 
you have to think of your body as a complex ecosystem where a number of different factors mix to create your pain. You know, as we touched on before, things like how much stress you're under, your emotional health, your beliefs, and aggravating activities, in your case, basketball, they all come into play. So we really don't know exactly how pain is influenced by all of these different factors, but we do know that it's very helpful to address many areas of your life. But as we spoke about before, these factors all interrelate. So when it hurts, you stop exercising, which changes your general wellness, your mood and your social supports, and so on and so forth. But it's important to note though, that things can change. You know, so we can start with your activities. You know, what do you think that you can do in order to be more physically active, but reduce the risk of the back pain returning and the additional negative effects that accompany that? Well, I guess I could go for um, short walks with my wife after work. Definitely would be less stress on my body and it'd be some type of exercise for me. In terms of work, it would make sense if I got up once in a while from my chair and just walk around. I think that would, be, that would make sense and it'd be good for me. Great. It sounds like we're off to a great start. It, it's important to note though that there are many different exercises that can help you. You know, you need to gradually expose yourself to increasingly demanding tasks. You know, we'll start with walking, let your body adapt, and as you build up tolerance, you can keep moving forward. So let me ask you, how important is it to you to improve your consistency with exercise in order to enhance your health? Yeah, certainly. I definitely feel that consistency is important. I'm, ti I'm tired of starting and stopping, starting and stopping. Um, I definitely want to be more consistent. Brilliant. You've got it there. Consistency is key. You know, so how, how often do you think that you'll be able to exercise? Well, my wife walks four to five times a week and each time she walks is about 30 minutes. I could probably do that. Um, also at work, I think I could get up and walk around every you know, at least once every hour. Good. No, it sounds like a brilliant start. So let me ask you, on a, on a scale of zero to ten, zero being not confident at all and ten being 100% confident, mm -hmm. how confident are you that you'll be able to stay consistent with this new exercise regime? I would probably say about a six or seven. Well, you're not a zero. That tells me you've got some confidence in making a change. So let me ask you, why are you confident? You know, as I said before, <clears throat> I'm tired of starting, stopping, um, and I'm just tired of that. And I th also, I think I could lose, I could use um, to lose a few pounds. Okay. So you realize that if you become more consistent with exercise and moving more at work, you're going to feel better and your health will be impacted positively. Yes, I definitely think so. But you're not a 10. That tells me that there may be some obstacles to your success. What would it take for you to be a 10, or even an 8 or a 9? Um, I think if I get my, my whole family involved, that will certainly help. Also, if I can set you know, small, realistic goals for myself, I think that will keep, keep me motivated. Um, you know, in the past, you know, like we talked about a few times already, that you know, um, I'm always stopping and starting. I think mm -hmm. if I if I do those things, um, I won't um, I won't do that. And also, I think that I'll stay more motivated, and that'll help me um, probably lead myself to a better, healthier um, lifestyle. Brilliant. I, I get the impression that you want to stay on course with starting an exercise regime and experiencing less pain. And the best way to do this is, as we said, staying consistent and setting small goals for yourself to keep motivated. You know, your ecosystem will adapt to being more active and you slowly begin to do more and your pain will slowly begin to subside during this progression. It's important to note as well to keep slowly building up and not to put a limit on what you can do later down the road as this will build confidence and increase the strength and resiliency of your body. So if I saw you in two weeks, what would you tell me with regards to how your new exercise regime is going? I would tell you that I'm consistent. I would tell you I'm feeling much better. I would tell you I would probably have little pain if any, um, I'll tell you I'm more active and, and overall I'll just tell you I'm very healthy. Good, good. That sounds brilliant. You know, so using that same scale from 0 to 10, how confident are you that you'll be able to stay consistent with this new exercise regime? Definitely a 10, definitely. Brilliant. I agree, you know, I have the utmost confidence in you Brian. Let's see you in two weeks. Great. Let's see how you're doing, okay? Perfect. Good. Thank you. No problem.